there. We are Claire and Nick Butcher, and we've been together for over 20 years. We used to live in Wiltshire in the UK, with Nick having a background in bathroom sales and myself in hospitality and catering. In 2020, we decided to leave the daily grind to start a new life in France. Eventually, we ended up buying this. It's not officially a chateau, even though the village locals call it one. However, it is just as large and equally as much hard work as a chateau. With a horde of original features and the building having been unoccupied for many years, we are slowly breathing life back into her, whilst frequently still finding the many treasures she holds. Join us on our journey with our dogs, Flora and Merlo, as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. Happy Sunday, everyone. Hope you've had a great week. So this week is the week of the outdoor dining room reveal. We left you last Sunday with me saying I was going to put the camera down a bit this week because we had family coming. They've been, they've gone. We've had a great time. Uh, we posted the video last Sunday and then we went out and had a lovely time at... Well, it's currently a beautiful day here in the Shower Maritime and we are on our way to a village not too far from where we live called Miguan and uh, there is a foire au vin, a gastronomique today which is, is a wine fair and gastronomy so we were here last year with our friend Martin and um, we had some very pleasant snails and quite a lot of wine to drink and uh, well see what there is today what we've just got here and my first sight as I got out of the car is this there is a lonely pair of leggings hanging over the fence Somebody must have had a very good night at the wine fair. Well, first, pit stop, bit of lunch. Yes, got some liquid. Beer at a wine fair. Some fruit. And, whoa, sales. Mm. Any good? Well, that was a nice spot of lunch. Now comes the serious business. Wine. Well, champagne has been bought. Let's go and try some red wine, eh? Well, it's been a, uh, a fun few hours. Pockets are slightly emptier than they were a few hours ago. Uh, but I'm quite well oiled. And, uh, <laughs> Sorry, can you 
just turn the camera around? Hold on. Yes, dear. What happened? What do you mean? Your, your wife busted you. <laughs> well, Claire started walking back to the car and I thought, well, she's going to get sidetracked. So I had another beer, but she found me. Oops. Home time. Pool time. Pool time. It's pool o'clock. After the wine fair, we then had a couple of days left to get everything ready for the guests coming. So we were madly doing electrics and finishing off the outdoor dining room. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you it from the start. So here is when we first moved in. Couple of buildings to the side, we've got what I think was a sawmill, and then a Kundalini, which is a hen house. And over this side is another Kundalini, so they certainly like their birds here. At the back of the hangar, we've got a doorway. Come and see what we've got here. And this is another walled garden that we got. Got some fruit trees and a lot of weeds. So if anyone fancies coming to do some gardening, let me know. Then, back in September, the wall came down of the Poolallery so that we could start getting things ready for when the machinery needed to go through that room for the pool to be fitted in the rear wall garden. Uh, so today, I've got father-in-law with me, as you might hear in the background. We are knocking this little wall out and then we're gonna take down the panelling behind so that when they come to fit the sewing pool they can actually get clear access to the digger and dumper through so it's not happening till next month but uh, we thought we'd just start to make the access for them now Sorry, do you want me to help? Well, I am bloody 75, 76. Poor old You look like you're having fun.
Well, Mike and I have cleared this space. There is no wall, there's no wall there. Ah, pretty good. Pretty uh, nearly finished. There's two, two little things we want to do. Well, Claire wants to. First is, have a look in there. We've not had a look in there, so we don't know what's in there. Probably nothing apart from spiders. The other thing is, look in there. And there's probably nothing. A dead body. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> You're on your own. <laughs> Let's have a look. Is it? Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. Have you got something to uh, chop a stone in? Is it? No, there's a stick around the corner. Oh no, it's not water. <laughs> it's dry! <laughs> I thought it was water. Right, well, I thought it was water. Oh no, it does go down there. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I'm not dropping my phone down there. Oh, it's, it's really deep down this side. What? You could, you could, you could lose bodies down there. Oh, shit. Wow. It is deep, though. <laughs> Has it hit the bottom yet? Yes. Yeah. The devil rides in. <laughs> then, recently, we cleaned the room out and we painted it. Today, I am in part of the hangar or the barn that leads out onto the swimming pool area and I think it's time that we had a bit of a clear up. It's a bit more cleared up. Time for a quick look at paint. And not forgetting the delivery of the table that my dad made. And there's a surprise that's just about to arrive. It is father-in-law and it is mother dearest. And what could this be on the back? You make this. It's all on the door. Hey, you back Mm -hmm. 
So there we have it. We have one, oh bless you. We have one table in place. This morning I'm gonna be having a little work on the table that my dad made. On the top, there was a few um, gouges where the plane had gone in. So last night we gave them a fill. Uh, and this morning I'm gonna give the whole top a sanding down and then I'm gonna treat it with something. bit warm now I've just had my I've just had my dearest darling husband come over here and he does this whenever I'm doing anything he comes over to oh, I'm just saying how you are which is really I'm just surveying your work love but I've got a bone to pick with you what is that what is that on top of that ladder Sponge. and why was this was this, this is a brand new sponge. Mm. Use an old one. Use one of the grotty. I didn't want to make the thing I was wiping grotty. What, what the hell were you wiping it? What were you wiping with it? Because I used the table as a table. And what did you do? The coffee made a little ring mark on the table. <laughs> the table failed in its duty as a table. No, it did so not. I had to clean the table with, with a, a brand clean, clean sponge. With a brand so new sponge. A 150 year old oak table couldn't cope with a cup. Do you know what? Your mother would have you for not using a coaster. <laughs> yeah, you giggle away. Right, I'm going back to sanding. You go back to whatever you're doing. Thanks for, thanks for turning up. After a good sand back, it's now time to treat the tabletop. I'm using a colourless product, so here goes. And there we go, another job done. Yeah? Oh, oh, hang on, hold on. Do you want to wipe the table down with the, uh, the single-use sponge? <laughs> well, we're trying to go out and just need to put Merlot in the house. Come on then, come here. He's right under the car. <laughs> Support the bottom, please. Gotcha. <laughs> nice try, Merlo. Popped out today. Um, the first stop on our list today is a bricko shop where we ordered the flagstones for for surrounding the pool area. It feels like we come here, or Nick comes here, every other day, just to look in the yard. And there he goes, off in hunt of the elusive flagstones. Anyway, the next stop after this is going to find some chairs to go with the table. So we've got enough seats for everyone next week. God, it's just, it's just like running, it's just like running a B&B. But without completed rooms and without enough bathrooms. 
So to go around the big table that my father made, we got 12 of these. Um, originally, I was going to go with mi mixed, mix, mismatched uh, chairs from here, there and everywhere. But I thought, you know what? Yeah, they're a little bit modern, but they're comfy. You know what you're getting. They're reliable. They're not at different heights. So there we go. The other thing that we managed to get are these. We managed to get some bedside tables for the room in the Maison de Maitre that's kind of up and running at the moment. Because, yeah, they're a bit nicer than picnic tables, aren't they? A little bit nicer. Yeah. And they were actually a real bargain, so yeah. well done for finding them. This is, these were from Troc. 40, 48 euros for the two? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Then all of the little things happened, like the electrics went in. At this moment this area is pretty much a blank canvas and it's time to start I think giving it a bit of life here we go we have our before and it didn't quite go our way last night unfortunately Nick started to put the higher things up and he started to drill them into the wall. But the render actually has a cement mix in it, which makes it really, really hard to drill through. Now, with our neighbors having a B&B, &B, we didn't really want to make lots of noise at eight, half eight at night and get the hammer drill out. So we've had to wait until today to crack on and do this. I don't think that we showed a lot of the finishing touches going in, uh, like things being put up on the walls, because we were quite busy at that point. And finally, here is the big reveal in the daylight. I'll explain a couple of the bits and pieces in here. Um, it's been really good because a lot of them we've reused from our old house or other places in the property. We've not really bought that much for in here. The chandelier came from a brocant and was 10 euros. The vase on the table was actually left in one of the outbuildings and it's one of the old uh, tiny little vats for, for winemaking. Uh, the mirror that was bought uh, last year for one of the bathrooms but didn't fit very well. All of the black shelves are from our old house in England. The crown that came from uh, my old pub. There would have been three but there was only one and there's two other people in the world that have the others. You know who you are. The duck was a gift from my brother-in-law and sister-in-law. Things like the plastic plants we already had. I did buy these two garden mirrors. They were, I think, 29 euros each from B&M. Uh, the wooden wall plaques were from my parents quite a few years ago. 
uh, already had the clock, already had the deer that came from a shop in Malmesbury in Wiltshire and already had the um, champagne bucket cooler. It's uh, quite redundant now because there's a leak in the bottom. I think the thing that we've spent the most money on has been the chairs, but because of the colour of them, they were on sale. Um, it wasn't too bad, but yeah, that was the biggest outlay for this room. But I think you will agree, it looks just as stunning, if not more stunning, at night. Well, the peace and quiet didn't last for long. Delivery is here. Never a quiet day. So this is the big delivery we've been waiting on. Now it's arrived, we can finally complete around the pool area. But that's gonna happen next week. Now it's time for Wine of the Week. Wine, Wine of, of the, the week. week. And today we have a cocktail um, that we got from the wine fair in Migron. It is blue. <laughs> It always worries me when we have blue drinks. It's not natural, is it? You can't beat a blue drink. I'm going to let you open this. Okay. So we are in our new outdoor dining room. And what a transformation. Yeah, we love it. Yeah. Which we do. Yeah. So all of the things are arrived, ready to finish off the pool area. So busy week next week. Yeah. Full steam <laughs> ahead. Full steam ahead. Woohoo. But if you have enjoyed this week's episode, please give us a like and click the thumbs up button. If you've not subscribed, please consider subscribing. You can follow us on <laughs> Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. We're not up to date with threads yet, but watch this space. <laughs> More. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Or our website, which you can find at www.theexpatbutchers.com. I do love a blue drink. It reminds me of toilet cleaner. <laughs>
When was the last time I hope you... it doesn't taste like it. When was the last time you cleaned a toilet? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Does it smell like toilet cleaner? Uh, <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. And, uh... See you next time. See you next week. <laughs>